Hi, Tim Painter here again. Uh, I am still in the search for that perfect RV stealth camping vehicle. One place that I've decided to look is online at one of the local auctions. I've learned that auctions can be a great place to pick up vehicles and it can be a disastrous place. Uh, there were a couple of things in this auction that interested me. The school bus, right now the type high bid on it's 1200 bucks. My hunch is it's going to go for probably 3,000, 156,000 miles on a diesel engine is nothing. Uh, but then you got to be prepared to convert a school bus, and that's quite a bit of work to do. So I don't know about that. Another bus they had I was very interested in, but some fool, and I mean fool, is bid up the price to $8,600 in 23 bits somebody really wants this bus but uh, it's a gasoline vehicle and it has a hundred thousand miles on it already and uh, it will be a perfect little RV conversion except I'm really not excited about the color people spot that color a mile away uh, in other words people will remember that vehicle being wherever it is so if you camp in the wrong place for the for too long a period of time then uh, then everybody's going to know it. But $8,600 for this, uh, even if it's a great vehicle, is too much money. Looks pretty clean though. Uh, interesting. So it was kind of, kind of almost a limo bus. Uh, so some probably a limo company is trying to buy it, I'm going to guess. Anyway, it's not for me. Uh, it just won't work. So let's see if there's anything else here uh, that might work. There are a couple of vans that I was looking at. Uh, let's see if I can get back. I have to just go back out of this whole thing and come back into it when it doesn't work right. These guys are pretty good. Uh, they're not going to tell you which vehicles work and which don't. That's it's just unfortunately they can't do that. Uh, but they also don't try to sneak in a bunch of stuff if they know it doesn't work at least at this auction they'll tell you it doesn't work uh, but they will sell you something that works perfectly if if there are some problems with it that you should have found out for yourself for example uh, maybe it's got a head gasket problem but it runs so they're not going to say it has head gasket problems they're, in fact they're not going to say anything you've got to go and check it out the first van they have is a diesel van, but it's got 251,000 miles. That's just way too many miles for me. Uh, if it were uh, Mercedes-Benz, Promaster, any of those, maybe that would work. The next van is a Chevrolet Express passenger van 2001. This is pre-auction too. These prices are pre-auction. I don't know if you can see it. $1,400 is the next bid. Uh, and if you look carefully, this is the year before, and it's at $1,300. But notice it only has 43,000 miles for some odd reason. And so that's kind of for me to figure out why. Also, this was a federal vehicle, I have a hunch. Probably a prison van. No seats. And uh, how do I know it was a prison van? Because there are no seats. Because it's got the uh, federal stripe on it. Um, and because it's twin with a hundred and some thousand miles has jail bars in it and apparently they got the jail bars out of the second one but notice the jail bars uh, you can see them here and here um, this is the coolest van but somebody already knows that they bid eleven hundred dollars it doesn't run it's an old dive van but look how cool it is the problem with this van turning this into an RV, just this is just adorable inside. Uh, everything's wood. You can imagine how much fun that would be. The problem with a van like this is that uh, everybody would know this van. And that kind of destroys the purpose of uh, uh, stealth camping. You can't do too much stealth camping when everybody knows what your vehicle looks like. I'm trying to go to a place and be able to park 
and not have anybody be sure that I'm inside that van. But this one, if this one goes to the same place a couple of times, everybody's going to know it, uh, especially with dive, via dive team written on it. Uh, people would really know it, and I'd probably try to take off the dive team somehow, but, uh, but that might not work. Well, anyway, what I learned on these auctions is you got to go test drive the vehicle, which they'll let you do. They won't let you take it off the lot, but you can take it for a spin. And if I have time, I'll do that before auction day, which is this Wednesday. And probably the one I would bid on is this low mile one. Uh, but I have my reservations about it. Uh, one thing is when you have a vehicle that uh, millions of different drivers have been driving, you're always a little nervous about it. Uh, but something to think about. Anyway, my search continues for the perfect RV vehicle. Uh, they have also have some uh, SUVs, but I'm not sure how stealth camping in an SUV would work. This would be pretty cool. Uh, this one has 120,000 miles. It's already bid at 3,700 bucks, but it's a 2012 Tahoe, and I just don't know how roomy they are in back. I bet they're pretty roomy. Uh, they're going to burn gas like crazy. Um, these big lights here, I don't know about them, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, it would be nice to have, but on the other hand, I'm not sure that that's the best thing. The last thing I want is something red. I think that's, oh, this one's been seized, and I'll bet you... It's torn up inside. Let's take a look. Got some ripples, but let's see what the inside looks like. Often these seizures are really torn up. I don't see any apparent damage. And like I say, this company likes you to know when there's bad damage. But, uh, but the problem is red is a bad color because everybody spots you and I don't want to be spotted I'm trying to blend in so these are just some thoughts that I had uh, I'm still looking uh, I have come to the conclusion that what I want and what I can afford are different things uh, and so, to some respect I'm not even sure what it is I want uh, a class B RV a van type thing would be pretty cool but I could get by with stealth camping in one of these uh, or uh, maybe even a Class C. It's just the right vehicle will present itself at the right time, and I just have to be patient. Well, this is Tim Painter. If you like what you see, please subscribe and uh, leave your comments. I love your thoughts. Uh, I'm getting a lot of comments on my page, on my web page, and uh, YouTube is growing the audience slow by slow. Uh, also, subscribe. Yeah, I think I already said that and uh and like okay youtubers thank you and uh we will see you soon okay so we're at the auction site as i had said on an earlier video it's always wise to come down and take a look so far they look pretty good uh they let you start them up and you could put them in reverse and forward it's not too much of an investigation and those are the kind of chances you take when you go to an auction they all start with no problems. Uh, we did see a check light on this one, but it went off, so presumably it's all right. Uh, it's just a risk. But we like what we see so far, and we're thinking about trying to put in a, a winning bid, so we'll see.